Hey y'all, it's Brady. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. So if you are brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, and our seven and four-year-old girls, plus a crazy dog, and we live a crazy busy life. My husband works full-time, crazy hours. My girls are both in school full-time. I'm in college full-time, plus I work part-time, plus YouTube, and then, you know, just the normal household family life stuff. So we're crazy busy just like the rest of y'all. But on my channel, I like to share our grocery hauls, what we're eating for dinner, daily life stuff, freezer meal prep, and you know, all that kind of stuff. If that is your sort of thing, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you are not new here and you are returning, so glad that you came back. So glad to have you here. So today I have a Sam's Club grocery haul for you for January, 2022. Man, that feels weird to say 2022, but that's where we're at. Um, so I've got a Sam's Club haul. Um, I'm also gonna order a couple of things from Kroger. Not sure if I'll include it in this haul or not, but from Sam's Club, we did have it delivered. And it, so it was $181 with delivery. We had a couple of coupons. If you need a coupon, I'm gonna leave it down below for you. You'll get $10 off your first order. And then I think I get $10 off um, a future order of mine as well. So it was a little more expensive than it would have been to go to Sam's Club ourselves, but um, it was definitely a convenience factor being that we are a little ways away from the store. And so it was worth it to pay that tip and the little bit extra cost to not have to get out. So um, we definitely needed dog food. That was the main reason that I ordered from Sam's Club over anywhere else. And so $35 of that total is actually our dog food for the month for our crazy puppy. Well, I say puppy. She's always going to be our puppy. I don't care if she's four and a half years old. Um, but anyways, so that's all that I spent was $181. I had ordered a few things um, that were out of stock, but it still worked out well. So let me flip you around. I'll show you what we picked up and then I'll bring you back here and we'll chat for a minute. All right, so here is the Sam's Club haul delivered. We had a bigger total of some non-grocery budget items, like a new dinnerware set and things like that, that they were out of stock on. So the numbers are a little off. Um, I'll have to look and see. But anyways, let me just show you what we did get, and then I'll try to remember to tell you what was out of stock. So we did have this ordered, um, from Instacart and um, it was a little more expensive than in store, but the closest one to us is about 30 minutes of a drive one way. So it did save us time and uh, gas money. So anyways, um, two packs of their big packages of boneless skinless chicken breast it looks like 6.11 pounds, 6.59 pounds here. It ended up being like 203 a pound from there. And we do have ground beef and beef stew meat and a roast, some steaks, and I think maybe some sausage. Um, so we just needed chicken pretty much for this month. I did get one heavy whipping cream. This was 374. Two gallons of whole milk. These were 328, I think, a gallon. Three gallons of Milo sweet tea. Um, which was 330, 339 or 327, something like that, about $3 per gallon. We got some of the Members Mark almond milk. These were two, so it's a half, two half gallons for 564, I believe. We needed more laundry detergent. This is my favorite. This is the Ecos hypoallergenic. Um, I, even like the all doesn't necessarily do well with my skin but for some reason this one does so um this was about $16 $17 and some change but it is 230 loads we did get a 30 pound bag of dog food this is their wild caught salmon and pea recipe um members mark brand we so we got those or we got that and it was like $32 for 30 pounds we were totally out of dog food 
Um, I did get a mini watermelon and it is truly mini, but it was $3.19. I'd also ordered a cantaloupe that was out of stock. I had also ordered ground turkey and that was out of stock. Blueberries, these were $5, I believe, right around $5 for 18 ounces. Then this was just under $5 for two pounds of the Driscoll strawberries. These look delicious. Um, and considering they're $5 for one pound in our local grocery store, this was actually still a deal. Three English cucumbers, this was $3.22. Seven dollars and some change for a five pound bag of gala apples. I had actually ordered the apple slices for lunches this week for the girls going back to school after winter break, but those were out of stock. So she asked if she could substitute these. I was like, that's totally fine. We'll just put them in their hole or cut them up and add them to um, lunches that way. I think this was $3.97 or $3.98. For the Caesar salad kit, it does come with the dressing. We don't usually use it, but I like that it comes with the cheese, the lettuce, and the croutons already washed up and ready to go. Tortillas, this was $3.36 for a huge three pound, four ounce package of the small fajita sized tortillas. Um, we will keep out about 10 or 12 of these. The rest will go into freezer bags, into the freezer for the rest of the month. And, you know, we may even have some left at the end of the month. Um, one rotisserie chicken, this was $5. I think it came out to like $5 and 13 cents or something. It was a little bit more than in the store. $3.28, no, $3.94 for two bunny bread large loaves. $6, no, five, it was right around $6 for the two pack of the Thomas plain bagels. Um, so we'll put one in the freezer and use one this week. And then we did get a 50 count box of the Frito-Lay Classic Mix um, little bags of chips. I think these are the, either the one ounce or the half ounce. Yep, they're the one ounce bags it says on the bottom. It comes with four plain ruffles, four sour cream and onion, eight Fritos, eight Classic Lays, 10 Doritos and 16 Crunchy Cheetos. So that will get us through a month probably, maybe just a touch over for packing uh, snacks for the girls and um, at school and then for like my snack stuff to take on campus because one of my classes is back on campus so far. We'll see if that gets bumped back to virtual, not quite sure. This was right around $9 for the two big bags of the Cheez-It crackers. I did go ahead and get a bag of Doritos. These are their big, huge Sam's Club size. Doritos and the Tostitos original tortilla chips. These were both like $4.26, I believe, per bag. And so that will be for at home for the next week or two. Well, definitely two weeks for both of those. Um, and then the, like I said, the little bags of chips are to last the month for just for snack time at school. And I think that's everything. So I had also ordered, like I said, ground turkey, um, a dinnerware set, a cantaloupe, and then toilet paper and paper towels. The Members Mark brand, they did not have either one of those. So this is everything that was delivered. And if we do end up getting a small Kroger haul, then I'll share with those with you later. Um, but that is everything that I got from Sam's Club. All right, so that's our haul. I did not actually get to film the Kroger haul, but it was just a couple of things. I got some little frozen pizzas, some frozen pretzel, like soft pretzel things, and some like cheese curd, cheese stick things, stuff to throw in the air fryer for New Year's Eve. And then I got some lunch meat for the week that I forgot to order from Sam's Club. And I tried to order ground turkey because Sam's Club was out of ground turkey, but unfortunately they delivered ground turkey breakfast sausage. So that wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, but thankfully Shift has already reimbursed us for that. So that worked out well. Um, I think that was it. I think that was all I ordered. Yep. So like I said, that was a super tiny haul, just a couple of things. 
um, th to finish out. Um, I tried to get a cantaloupe, but they didn't have any at Kroger either. So we just got what we got. Um, but that's everything. So I think we did really well on budget this week. So our plan is this will be our Sam's Club haul for January, but I am planning to get back to monthly grocery shopping starting with the first weekend, first week of February. So we're going to kind of finish out January, how we've been doing it for a while, which is weekly grocery shopping. And then our plan is to move into hopefully monthly grocery hauls. Well, a big monthly grocery haul at the beginning of every month from Sam's and Aldi. And then any household things we need, getting it also then too. Um, just so that we're spending less weekly at the store trying to get the best deals and just do, um, you know, the best money-wise and, and making sure we're not bringing into a bunch of unnecessary things we don't actually need. So, that'll be the plan moving forward, hopefully, is that we're going to get back to monthly grocery shopping. And then the other three or so weeks of each month will then be smaller grocery hauls like we used to do pre pandemic. So we're trying to get back to that. Um, as y'all have seen, prices are crazy. We're definitely feeling it too. And so we're just trying to get, you know, back in line with how we normally would grocery shop and trying to get the best deals and save the most money. So, um, while still getting the food that we want. So that's everything that I've got for y'all today. Let me know where you're shopping. I hope that whatever holidays you've been celebrating, that you have had a wonderful time and a time of rest and relaxation. And I hope that 2022 is a much better year for everyone. Thank y'all so much for being here. Leave me a comment down below and introduce yourself if you're new or if you've just never said hello before. I say this in almost every video, but y'all, I mean it. I genuinely mean it. I love getting to connect with y'all in the comments and um, see where everyone's from and hear the different ways everyone else grocery shops and, you know, just what all is going on in y'all's lives. So leave me a comment down below, say hello, introduce yourself, um, or just share with me about your week or where you're grocery shopping or what your plan is, or I don't care. Just say hello. I don't, you know, I love connecting with y'all in the comments. So that's everything. That's really everything that I've got. And so until our next video, I will see y'all in the comments down below. Bye y'all.